Hey guys, today I wanted to do a review of the Anchormate M5C 3D printer. You can see it right there. And what I'm gonna do is turn around the camera and show you a few of the things I really like about this unit. Okay, uh, this unit was sent over to me for a review and I really appreciate that. I'm not receiving any compensation for this, but uh, these are my own thoughts. And I just wanted to tell you a little bit about this machine and kind of what you can expect. First of all, the M5C is a second variation of the Anchormate 3D printer products. The first one was the M5. And the main differences between the two are about $200. And uh, this unit does not come with the camera or um, a touchscreen LED, you know, for controlling on the unit. This unit, you need to use an app on the phone. The good thing is the app on the phone is very, very good, very easy to understand and very easy to use. And so it connects through Wi-Fi and the package comes with the unit itself. It's, uh, I think, 250 by 250 uh, size mat. It also comes with uh, the filament and the filament holder right here. Um, you can see right here how that works. Uh, I actually let my 15 year old sons put it together. I didn't give them any instructions and they were able to put that together in 15 minutes or so. It's very easy and simple. It's perfect for someone looking to get into the world of 3D printing. And myself, I'm a woodworker and so I've always been looking for different ways to uh, create different organizational solutions and um, adapters and things like that for my shop. So uh, first thing that you'll notice on this unit is that it's very sleek, well-built. It looks like an Apple product or something like that. And it's very um, uh, user-friendly. Everything is very easy to find where it goes. The instructions are excellent. It comes with a lot of different videos that you can use for putting together the unit. And basically, they also have um, something called um, basically a project studio where you can go and download models immediately to start printing on the unit. But also you can use all different kinds of 3D printing models like, um, you know, Thingiverse or uh, any of those places. I want to show you some of the things that we've created with this since we've had it. And we've been printing basically every weekend since we've had it because it's so much fun. This is one of the first things that my son's printed. And as you can see right here, uh, it has movable um, legs. It's an octopus. And so we didn't do anything on this. It basically just printed all these parts together and interconnected them so that they can move. It's really pretty incredible. And then this one, that one took about uh, two hours, I think. This is the um, ship that usually gets printed first on most 3D printers. This takes about 15 minutes. One of the good things about this unit is that it prints very fast for the price point. It's pr printing at about 500 millimeters per second, which is very good. Uh, but you can see the quality on this is excellent. You can see uh, there's different modes, of course, you can print in just basic or precision. Uh, precision takes a little bit longer, but gives you a little bit better resolution. Next thing we made was uh, this knife right here. And you can see, I think this one took about uh, two hours, two or three hours, and it's two parts. So you can see right there that it's glued together. Uh, very good quality. Um, very happy with that. Then we made <clears throat> this push stick. You can see uh, how large it is. It basically fills up the majority of the bed right here that you can see. I'd say it's probably about 12 inches long, something like that. And so I use this for a push stick on my table saw. Very handy. This right here is a holder for my micro gripper. Um, uh, you also use on my table saw. This one took about four hours, I think. Um, excellent quality, has the holes for the screws to go in as well. So uh, that will allow me to keep it in a place where I can find it constantly, which was very helpful. We also printed this right here, which is just a basic box with screw holes. Um, all these I got off, I think, uh, Thingiverse. <clears throat> and these are open source models, so you, the, you can just download them and print them right on your machine without any need to edit. Um, so this one is to hold uh, tape measures. It's big enough for two standard tape measures. This right here is a basic um, cell phone holder. I wanted one that had um, a little higher front, so to make sure that it didn't fall fall over uh, in the in wherever I put it. It also has the screw holes and then a place on the bottom for the cord to come out to charge. You can see the quality of it. We also made uh, this safety glass holder. You can see it's kind of like a raised lettering, not embossed, but raised, I guess. Um, screw holes again, and this is perfect for hanging your safety glasses where you need them. And then finally, we have uh, this 
um, bit holder. So it, it provides a much more compact space for you to be able to, um, you know, organize your bits in different types of heads and sizes and things like this. So this is a big uh, space saver and you can see uh, some of the quality of the final, uh, the print. So this one again was printed in precision. This one took, I think, about five and a half hours to print due to the complexity, but um, it's really a nice piece. One of the great things about AnchorMate as well is that they send you uh, a full set of tools. Okay, so these are all the tools that you'll need to maintain and build your unit. Uh, you can see it comes with some Allen keys, comes with a set of uh, um, clippers, comes with a replacement head nozzle, uh, and then also a couple of um, wrenches and adapters that you'll need as well. Everything's laid out on there so you know where it goes. Uh, this head does come with a, um, a new upgraded all metal head that can go up to 300 degrees Celsius, which allows you to uh, print a lot more diverse types of materials than you would ordinarily. And of course this can print uh, using different filament types as well. Uh, everything was well packaged, well put together, very easy to understand. Uh, very easy to use. Again, my both of my 12, uh, 15 year old sons have been using it uh, to print things ever since we got it. And they learn the slicer software very easily. They also learn the app very easily. And so uh, it doesn't really generate a whole lot of waste. And all the pro projects that they've done, this is all the waste that there has been, which really isn't very much. So if you're looking for a 3D printer, something that uh, is easy to use right out of the box and can print print different things that you need for maybe a workshop or your business or just your home or uh, just things that you're interested in. Uh, I highly recommend this AnchorMate M5C. I don't think you can go wrong. Um, the company seems to be very good at responding to questions and support. And so I really don't think you'll go wrong with this. Okay, thank you.